What is up guys, Ozzy here, and today I'll be doing some more mining. So I had a bit of a mishap before in my other video. So I'll be showing you guys some more mining. So I got a few things in here that I mined before just to recover my stuff. Got one diamond and a few pieces of junk. Now I'm gonna go mining for some more diamonds. I put a few torches out here so mobs don't spawn and kill me when I'm sleeping. So let's just do some good old mining here. Oh, diamond, right. Let's get around and dig it here. Oh crap. Sh f oh, f oh my god. Mother. F Why? 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 Not again. Why? Please. Oh, f oh. oh please. Let me survive. What is up guys, Ozzy here, and today we show you the trap I encountered earlier on in the video. So this is going to be my second trap, and hopefully you guys enjoy it as the first one you guys did. So yeah, I'll be showing you how it works. So over here you get the redstone clock, tigger, thingamajigo, and it basically powers these clappers right here, or as I call them. And right over here you've got these pistons which basically hold the ground together. Let me just fix this bit right over here. There we go. And yeah, that's basically what it does. It just holds the floor together. And so if you were to break one of these diamond ores, you would find that you would fall into one of these if you're close enough. So it works for all of them. So if you dig out all of them, you will eventually fall into this little clapper right here, which basically claps you and gives you kind of a headache. And it actually does kind of give you a headache, so mm, beware if you guys are uh, prone to receiving headaches at any given time. Just watch out for that. And so yeah, that's basically it for the, today. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Stay tuned. <laughs>